Stuart Bigham, 2015, current world champion. I'd just like to start off with a deep question here, which may sound silly, but has it sunk in yet? I don't know. I don't know. Because it's important yeah, yeah. for the rest of the season, in a way. Um, I've actually tried to forget it. Um, really? I've sort of, just, just to get on with snooker, I think it, as stupid as the answer is going to be, it's like it, it's a hindrance. There's 20 years of trying to get there and trying to pick up that trophy. Now I've got that trophy, it's like, it feels the pressure of it is immense more than anything. You'd rather have not won it. No, of course not. <laughs> but it feels that way. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've had that pressure and, and uh, sort of now I turn up taunts and just try and forget, get on with the job in hand. Of course the pressure is only from within, isn't it? That's the yeah. biggest thing about it. Nobody else is really putting the pressure on. It's your mm -hmm. own expectations. Yeah, the first, first couple of taunts after, um, every sort of ball I missed, I'm just, I can see people saying, he's world champion, he's got to be the worst world champion ever, sort of thing. And that, and stupid pressures like that. Understandable that every player has a reaction to something so big. It doesn't always happen. Some people go on, but it's, it is understandable if you drop down a fraction of standard because of that. Yeah, I'd say, to be honest, I don't feel like I've had a, had a bad season. I mean, results has, but I've, I've lost four, five, four threes. Of a 5 4, and, and to people like Higgins, uh, Fergal O'Brien, um, Zhu Yulong, and, and good players. So I've, I've lost out in deciders, but because of the results, it looks like I've had a bad season. There's not so much breathing space. All the players are good these days. Exactly. But uh, do you think they've raised their game a fraction <coughs> even? Um, I thought that uh, coming into this season, people were going to raise their game to play me. I remember when John Higgins was world champion, Sean Murphy even yourself, um, I knew I was playing a, a top player and you can't help but raise your game. Yeah. So obviously I've got that now and it's, a, so it's obviously been a, a big learning curve. Well, first half of the season, no silverware. What's a success story for the rest of the year? One tournament, world championship, crucible curse, you've got that to come. Yeah. I mean, that, Exciting, but it's still nice to get your name on a trophy before then. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's just, it was the same as every other year. Um, I think if you can win one trophy a year, um, I think you've had a good year. Um, I've got to two semi finals, I've been obviously pretty close. Um, been play, been feel like my game's picking up the last sort of couple of months, and uh, yeah, that's, that's obviously my goal before now, between now and the end of the year. And what better way to celebrate your your rise as a legend within the game than winning this tournament. Yeah, yeah, it'd be massive. Um, I'll put this as, not as high as obviously the Crucible, but it's obviously close. Watching it over the years, it's got so much history to it. Um, so my obviously record here ain't great. Uh, I've just looked in the <laughs> in the, in the the programme there, my ice break here is 91 <laughs> in, in seven goes. So it obviously ain't been great. So uh, I'll be looking to change it, hopefully. I've, I've tr tried a f few different things coming into this tournament. Uh, I stayed in a hotel last night, it's only, it's only an hour drive from my home and I normally just commute from home but sort of come up here the night before try and prepare for an actual tournament like I normally do. Oh, well, good luck and good luck for the rest of the season. Cheers. Cheers.